Isang agamazing na araw sa inyong lahat, mga kabida agham. Ako po si Tutor Marky mula sa SDO Bulacan. At ako po ang inyong bagong makakasama sa isang kapanapanapig na episode na siguradong kayo ay mag-e-enjoy at matututo. Tara, samahan mo ako sa ating quarter 2, week 3 as we explore the world of earthquake waves. Bago tayo magumpisa, atin pong i-acknowledge ang development team sa pamamagitan ng ating self-learning module mula sa Karaga Region at DepEd Central Office. Para sa ating quarter 2, week 3, narito po ang most essential learning competency. Explain how earthquake waves provide information about the interior of the Earth. And here are my reminders. Number one, take the pretest prepared at the beginning of the module. Number two, take time in reading and understanding the lesson. Follow instructions carefully. Number three, use a clean sheet of paper for your answers in each activity or assessment. Number four, try to recall and connect the ideas that you had in the lower years. Number five, be honest. When doing the activities, record only what you have really observed. Number six, don't hesitate to ask. If you need to clarify something, approach or contact your teacher. Number seven, take the pause test prepared at the end of the module. Number eight, you can check your answers in the activities, self-assessment, and pause test. Are you ready? Let us now answer the pretest. Here are the directions. Read each question carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answers. Let's begin. Number one, what is the main cause of seismic waves? Letter A, earthquake. Letter B, thunder. Letter C, traffic. Or letter D, volcano. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The correct answer for this question number one is letter A, earthquake. Number two, what type of wave is P wave? Letter A, electromagnetic. Letter B, longitudinal. Letter C, transverse. Or letter D, ultrasonic. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The correct answer for this question number two is letter B, longitudinal. Number three, which of the following travels the fastest and is detected first in the seismic station? Letter A, love wave. Letter B, surface wave. Letter C, primary wave. Or letter D, secondary wave. Five, four, three, two, one. One. What is your answer? The correct answer for this question number three is letter C, primary wave. For question number four, if P wave passes through solid to liquid media, what will happen to its velocity? Letter A increases, letter B decreases, letter C speeds up, or letter D stays the same. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The correct answer for this question number four is letter B, decreases. And for our last question for this pretest, question number five, which statement is correct? Letter A, S waves are slower than P waves. Letter B, P waves are slower than S waves. Letter C, P waves have the same speed as the S waves. Or letter D, it is not possible to record the speed of S and P waves. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The correct answer for this question number five is letter A, S waves are slower than P waves. What is your score? Good! 
Now, let us move on to what's in. Here are the directions. Read the short story and answer the questions that follow. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Are you ready? All right. So the title of our short story is When the Land Moves. One sunny morning, Carl and his friends were having a picnic in the garden. They were talking and laughing. It had been a long time since they saw each other that they were excited to spend time together. Then suddenly, everything seemed to move. They felt dizzy. The electric wires began to swing. Lights went out and people around them began to panic. What was happening? What they were experiencing was the rock beneath the Earth's surface suddenly moving. There was an earthquake. The ground shook, things on the land moved, and then the movement just stopped as quickly as it began. Carl and his friends were frightened. Once the shaking stopped, they decided to go home. They planned to have another picnic later when everything is safe. Now, for my questions, what are the common observations that an earthquake is likely to happen? Good. Nice observation. For our question number two, what do you think is the reason of this occurrence? Good job. Nice observation. But the big question is, what causes earthquake? Or saan nang galing yung earthquake? On our previous lesson, ang sabi nga po natin, pag sinabing earthquake o yung paggalaw ng lupa, ito yung tinatawag na lindol. Nung nakaraang episode, nabanggit po natin na ito po ay is because of the sudden movement of the land from a certain energy release coming from inside of the earth. These inner forces build up slowly and eventually become so strong that may cause underground rock to break. Now, what are seismic waves? Seismic waves are the waves of energy that travel either along or near the Earth's surface. This energy that travels through the Earth is recorded by seismographs. These seismic waves are also known as earthquake waves. Here are the types of seismic waves. First, here are the body waves. The second, here are the surface waves. Let us now discuss about body waves. Body waves are the ones who travel through the interior of the Earth. It has a higher frequency than the surface waves. It has two types. The first type is primary wave. The second type is the secondary wave. Ngayon, ating kilalanin ang primary wave. Ang primary wave, kadalasan ginatawag siyang P waves. Yung letter P dito, ang ibig sabihin niyan, primary. Ito yung pinakamabilis na kaya ng seismic wave. Bakit? Kasi siya yung unang dumadating sa seismic station na nare-record ng seismograph. Itong P wave na to or yung primary wave, ito ay kadalasang uh, dumadaan sa solid rocks or fluid, parang yung water or yung liquid layers ng Earth. Tinatawag din ang primary wave ng compressional o longitudinal wave. Bakit? Kasi it vibrates parallel to the direction. Kung saan papunta yung wave, dun din papunta yung primary wave. Ang primary wave, kaya nga tinawag na fastest kind of seismic wave kasi ang velocity nito ay umaabot ng 4 to 6 kilometers per second. Depende kung saan siyang material na nagpa-pass through. Dumako naman tayo sa secondary wave o yung tinatawag nating S waves. Yung S dito, ang ibig sabihin niya, secondary. Ito yung mas mabagal na wave compared sa primary waves or P waves. 
ito ay dumadaloy din sa solid pero hindi siya kayang trumabel sa liquid medium. These waves move rock particles up and down or side to side perpendicular to the direction that the waves are traveling in. Tinatawag din ng secondary wave na transverse or shear waves. Ang S waves have a velocity of 3 to 4 kilometers per second. Mas mabagal compared sa primary wave. Dumako naman tayo sa surface waves. Surface waves travel only through the crust. It has a lower frequency compared sa body waves. Ang surface waves ay may dalawang types. Ang una, love wave, at ang pangalawa is Rayleigh wave. Ngayon, pag sinabi natin love wave, ito yung pinakamabilis na wave under the surface waves. Bakit? Kasi ang movement niya sa ground ay side to side. Kasi ito ay may velocity na 4 kilometers per second. Kumbaga, mas malakas ang shaking natin sa love wave. Doon naman sa Rayleigh wave, ang movement naman niya dito is side to side and up and down. So parang ito yung uh, water wave na kung saan nagro-roll na makita natin sa lake or sa ocean. You are now ready to answer our activities for the activity number one entitled, Let's Talk About Waves. Here are the directions. Read the paragraph and complete the table below. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Let's start. Seismic waves are also known as earthquake waves. They are two main types of earthquake waves, body waves and surface waves. The body waves have two types, the primary waves or P waves and secondary waves or S waves. Primary waves travel the fastest at all kinds or types of waves. They are also unique in all aspects that they travel through all states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. P waves are considered push-pull waves. They push and pull the rock as it moves through just like the sound waves that push and pull the air. Secondary waves are not as fast as P waves. They cannot travel through liquids and gases. S waves travel in a side-to-side -side motion, like just like a piece of rope that are wiggle. Surface waves such as love waves or L waves are the slowest waves. They move along the Earth's surface, similar to the way the waves travel in the oceans. Now let us compare the different types of seismic waves using this table. As you can see, we have five columns. The first column has something to do with earthquake waves. The second column are their other names. For the third column, it is something to do with the speed. And for the fourth column, it is something to do where the medium they traveled. And for the last column is about their motion. Now, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to answer or to think about the answer for this table. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we are ready to answer this table. Number one, primary wave are also known as P wave. Number two, love wave are also known as L wave. Number three, the speed of a primary wave is fastest. Number four, the speed of the secondary wave is middle speed. Number five, primary waves can travel in solid, liquid, and gas. For the number six, love wave can be traveled in the Earth's surface. For number seven, the motion of the secondary wave is side to side. And for our number eight, 
the motion of love wave is up and down. What is your score? Good job! Now, let's move on to our activity number two. Here are the directions. Write T if the statement is true and F if it is false. Are you ready? Let's start. Number one, the primary wave is the slowest wave among the seismic waves. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The answer for his is F. Number two, the secondary wave can travel through all states of matter. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The correct answer for this question number two is F. Number three, the most destructive wave is the surface wave. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The answer for this question number three is T. Let's move. Number four. The primary wave is the first wave that can be detected. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The correct answer in question number four is T. Number five. The two types of surface waves are the primary waves and love waves. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The answer for number five is F. Now, what is your score? Congratulations! Now, for another activity, Entitled, Let's Match It, here are the directions. Identify each illustration as to what type of waves. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Remember the types of waves? We have primary wave, secondary wave, and surface wave. For our illustration number one, five, four, three, two, one. The answer for this is primary wave. For the second illustration, five, four, three, two, one. For this illustration, it is secondary wave. And for our third illustration, five, four, three, two, one. For this, it is surface wave. Now, what have you learned in our session? For the direction, fill in the blanks with the correct term of the complete statements. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number one, seismic waves are also known as Answer, earthquake waves. Number two, these waves are of higher frequency than surface waves. Answer, body waves. Number three, the waves that travel the fastest are. Answer, primary waves. Number four, a type of wave that travels only in solid medium is known as answer secondary waves. Number five, bank R waves, also known as L waves, are the slowest waves. Answer surface waves. Now, let us answer the assessment. Are you ready? Here are the directions. Read each question carefully. 
choose the letter of the correct answer. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answers. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number one. What wave causes earthquake to occur? Letter A, electromagnetic. Letter B, radio. Letter C, seismic. Or letter D, sound. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The correct answer for this question number one is C, seismic. Number two question. What does P in a P wave stand for? Letter A, parallel. Letter B, partial. Letter C, perpendicular. Or letter D, primary. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The correct answer for this question number two is letter D, primary. Number three, what kind of seismic wave arrives last at seismic station? Letter A, love. Letter B, primary. Letter C, secondary. Or letter D, surface. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The correct answer for this question number three is letter D, surface. Number four, which type of wave vibrates parallel to the direction and travels in a push-pull motion? Letter A, love. Letter B, primary. Letter C, secondary. Or letter D, surface. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The correct answer for this question number four is Letter B, primary. And for our last question, question number five, which of the following statements best describes primary wave? Letter A, it travels through a vacuum. Letter B, it causes rock particles to vibrate. Letter C, it is the slowest, largest, and causes the most destructions. Letter D, it travels the fastest and causes rock material to move back and forth. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? The correct answer for this question number five is letter D. It travels the fastest and causes rock material to move back and forth. What is your score? Congratulations! Nag-enjoy ka ba sa ating topic ngayong quarter 2, week 3 na merong earthquake waves? Next episode, ang topic natin ay Understanding Typhoons. At dyan nagtatapos ang ating agamazing na episode ngayong hapon. Batid kong kayo ay lubos na natuto at nag-enjoy sa ating episode. Maraming salamat po sa panonood mga kabidagaham. Ako po muli si Tutor Marky mula sa SDO Bulacan. Magkita-kita tayo muli sa mga susud na episode. Laging tandaan sa agham, kayo ang bida. Paalam, class dismissed.